Hey guys and welcome to Code with Stein. Web development is a great career path and a valuable skill. And in this video I will share 5 tips to help you learn web development. Step 1. Choosing the pathway. There are several ways to learn web development. It can be tutorials here on YouTube. I have many on my channel. It can be online courses where you pay on for example Ud Udemy. Uh, it can be school, it can be boot camp, etc. And people have different learning styles, so depending on what suits you best, you should choose one that suits you. For example, going to school takes a lot of time, but uh, it requires less discipline because you don't have to do so much yourself as when you're learning yourself online. Uh, boot camps are very intense, but you are learning very quickly. Uh, courses can cost a lot of money. And the free ones on YouTube uh, can be hard to find the best ones because there are a big number of courses there and it's hard to know which one are good. Step 2. Understanding the basics. So at the core web development is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML is a markup language where you just add text to the screen uh, describe that you want the box with that and that content, maybe you want the menu with links to there and there. CSS is used to describe to the browser what the menu or the box should look like and where to put it on the screen. So it's styling the HTML elements. JavaScript is there to add interactivity to the website. Like for example, if you are on a mobile phone and you click the little hamburger menu, the menu expands. That's JavaScript. Or it can just be something like uh, when you fill out the form and you get automatic uh, validation. That can be JavaScript. So I would really encourage you to start with the real basics, understand how HTML and CSS works and how they work together. You can wait with JavaScript, but it's usually something that you're going to get into after a little while. Step 3. Build real world projects. So when you learn the basics like the heading tags, the divs, the spans and all of that and how you style them, start building a little blog for yourself. And on that blog maybe you can have an about page, maybe a simple portfolio, etc. And the more you learn the more you can add there to your project. And, and by building real world projects you will learn so much better than to just sit and write a tutorial or write off a tutorial. Because when you are building something for yourself you usually have to think and you have to plan. And if you are stuck you can then go online and find help to that exact part. Step 4. Staying up to date. Web development is constantly changing and there are always something new to learn. Uh, it's important to stay up to date with new standards, uh, things that has to be done and things that you can do. And it's also equally as important to not get FOMO. Because there are so much to learn, uh, you need to understand that you don't have to learn everything because there are a lot of noise out there. People constantly telling you that you need to learn this in 2025 if you want to become a developer etc. But stick to the basic, stick to what you need and don't get overexcited over a new framework or library. So I would recommend that you for example follow some blogs like mine or you can go to X because there are a lot of good discussions there and people giving out good tips. Uh, you can find uh, Reddit or podcasts. Number five that is network and seek opportunities. Try to connect with other people that are also in the same industry as you. Um, you can join forums, you can attend local meetups, or you can join a discussion on X or Reddit to just talk with other people, ask for help. Maybe you can help others with some things that you have learned, share your experience, etc. This can give you great opportunities in the future for a job or maybe just someone that is looking for a web developer and it can be you. So to recap this, choose the correct uh, learning path for you. Number two is to learn the basics like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Number three, build live or real world projects. Number four, stay up to date and don't stay up to date with everything. And five, network and seek opportunities. 
But remember, learning web development is a uh, time consuming and it takes a lot of effort so don't get discouraged if you find it hard at the beginning it's a rewarding path and it can lead to many good opportunities if you have any questions about today's video feel free to leave a comment below and i will answer as soon as i can see you in the next video